and my name is Ms. G. Let's talk some entertainment here and all is set for the launch of Ghana's Most Beautiful 2020. 16 regions are going to represent in this year's competition. What's going to happen because we are in very, very special times? Well, the head of entertainment and lifestyle, Nana Kajuado, is here to tell us more about this Sunday's launch. And they say real men wear pink. So you're wearing peach and pink. <laughs> or is it, what, what colors are these? Well, this is peach. You know colors better. Tell me, I'm this so, is what I'm pink. Color, I'm, it looks purple on TV, actually. Oh, okay. You see I that? Like, I just, I just like the color, so I put it on this. I morning. see. Yeah. You're looking great as always. Thank you. I miss you though. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it, it feels like we were on that stage. Yeah, on the you stage, know? you know. So you do your thing, I do my thing, you and see? then we go. But it's, it's got this. This morning is a different purpose. It's a That's different true. reason. That's true. was beautiful. Beautiful, and yeah. so it's, it's going to be. Uh, a night of you know culture heritage a night of you know entertainment as well uh, exciting times are ahead of us you know coming the next 13 weeks mm. on, on on tv3 ghana's number one channel so what's going to happen is that on sunday at 8 p.m we're going to go live on tv uh, do the official launch of Ghana's most beautiful okay. and uh we're looking forward to all the 16 beauties that have been scouted and shortlisted and have passed through the stages of auditions to to be here and to be part of this particular lodge. Wow. So 16 people, actually, contestants are showing yes, up on ladies. Sunday. Sure. Everybody is excited about that. Sure. How are we doing this launch? Because like I said, we are in very special times. Mm. And so is it going to be the pomp and pageantry we have mm. all the time or there's something that will be different? Well, um, it's different in its in itself, mm -hmm. as in because it's uh, the the fir more like the first time in a long time that we're doing the official launch of GMB in the studio. Mm. Because in the last couple of years, we have done the launch grand uh, outside. And wow. uh, last year, for example, we were in the Ashanti region and we hosted a huge, like on the, in the, on the Heroes Park, was huge. Uh, we've done Koforidia, we've done Ibri Gardens, we've done a number of places. But this time, we're just limiting it to uh, a few uh, people in the studio. But it's still going to have that content that rich content and excitement that uh, we, we you're expecting from TV3 all the time. You know we always bring quality when it comes to entertainment and, and the best as well. So this time around, we are going to also make sure that we bring nothing but the best in production, nothing but the best uh, on stage uh, performances. Well, as we speak, the ladies are actually rehearsing, you know, and getting ready for, for, for Sunday. And it's going to be a showdown. We can't wait for Sunday and the next uh, 13 weeks subsequently sure, sure. to see what is going to happen. Mm, mm. Uh, people have been asking, since it's going to be more like a, a virtual uh, uh, gathering mm. where we have to watch on TV. Yes, and we Facebook. Have people, and Facebook and social media, yes. We won't have people in studio. Mm. Uh, how different will the feel be for a lot of people who are not too keen on what to expect. Yeah, so it's so we, we're producing it like a TV show that people are supposed to enjoy. And I think now more than before, a lot of people are beginning to appreciate the concept because mm. their mind is now moving towards accepting the virtual you know, experience when it comes to events and activations and all of that. So the, the, like we saw with Talented Kids and all of that, we are going to even enhance the style of production in, in as much as there may be one or two or three people in the studio we're still making sure that the ladies are poised in a way to make them know that it is more of the two million people or the three million people who are watching across uh, the nation and even outside of ghana as well so it's the mindset so we're going to have a good show trust me uh, the production team is ready uh, everybody is excited about this because it is a challenge for us to make sure that we are bringing the best in production and content. And so that's what's going to be like. So people are, are, are to expect nothing but uh, uh, something exciting this coming Would weeks. this be pre-recorded content or will be live content? It's, it's going to be live content. Okay. And you, you know that when it comes to realities in Ghana, uh, TV3 comes stops. No, 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 no channel comes close to that. And we, we are experts in that. So we will do music, music on Saturday. We'll do GMB on Sunday. Yeah. And, and many more other productions that are coming up. So um, it is not anything that is scary or anything. We're just making sure that the content is right and the ladies are poised and ready uh, for Ghana and the rest of the world to experience what 
uh, Ghana's most beautiful is going to be like in 2020. Another thing that I've heard people ask often after uh, the auditions mm. is uh, they say they keep saying, "Oh, you people say these people are scout judges, mm. they are audition judges. Mm. Who are going to be the judges for this year's Ghana's most beautiful?" Okay, so what we have done in the last years is that when it comes to judges, the main judges for the show, uh, we always outdoor them on, on the, the launch. Mm -hmm. So people are always wondering who is going to be the judge, who is going to be the judge, who, who are going to be the judges for the show. It's always on the launch day. So they speculate. You know, they begin to speculate and mention names and put names out there. But we know uh, from the production side, from the, the management side, we, are, we have agreed to a template that we, are, we announce the judges on the day of the launch. So people should look out for that as well. So that and, was, mm -hmm. yeah, and for the scouts, um, they, they did a very good job uh, over the last uh, weeks mm -hmm. by going through the audition stages. I mean, Lydia Forsen, Ajit uh, Yanan, and Sam Mumi, and, and, and Prince David Osei. And, and it, was, it was a good job. I say uh, kudos to them for, for that job. So that's what I've been asking who the judges are. You've heard uh, the judges will be all dolled on Sunday. You want to make a date. But also, mm. somebody said, oh, it looks like we've changed the theme uh, that we'd always use, redefining beauty okay. to promote African So, so let, me, let me explain mm -hmm. that. Um, Ghana's Most Beautiful has its mantra as redefining beauty to promote national unity. Okay. Um, however, every year or every season, we go with a particular theme. And so we have had Straight Out of Ghana, we have had This is the Life, we have had Black and Proud, mm. and this time we are using Uniquely Ghanaian, Exceptionally African. Mm. And so we are looking for that lady who uh, possesses that the characteristics and the qualities of somebody who uh, is, is up to time, who is contemporary, but still has touched base with culture and tradition and heritage. So we are finding your uniqueness as being a Ghanaian and even having that attribute of being an African all in one. And that is what we are finding in this particular season for Ghana's Most Beautiful. So redefining beauty to promote national unity is the mantra and it doesn't change. Okay. It is still there. But for every season or for every year, we have a theme that runs through for the season. Okay, so that's well explained. And what's up for this season? What's, what, what's the price package? <laughs> you want to tell us about that? Well, I mean, the promo we've been playing over the mm -hmm. uh, period has, has outlined it. I'm sure everybody knows mm -hmm. it. That when it comes to GMB, the price package is quite huge and hefty. Um, we, 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 we are looking at, I mean, once again, giving a brand new SUV to the winner. Uh, for you to have easy transportation after you become a big public figure. But like I said last Sunday, it is not just about the, the, the car, car and the cash and the, yeah, and the crown and mm -hmm. everything, but it's about the platform that ha you have been given to stand on for the whole of Ghana and the rest of the world to see you as an intelligent lady, as a bold lady, confident lady, for you to even have that expertise to even speak in public is something uh, that you, you have to be proud of. And so the, the whole package of the GMB, yes, you have ca a cash price, you have the car, you have the crown, you have all the other goodies and the products that uh, come with it from the sponsors and all that. But for me, I always tell them, I always tell people that it's the platform that you get to be on. The GMB and the TV3 platform that you get to stand on for the whole world to see you that, hey, you can be a brand ambassador in the coming months after you win GMB. Mm. You can be an icon for somebody. You can be a role model. You can be somebody who will be out there to speak for people. And so that is the, the, the bigger picture for me when it comes to Ghana's Most Beautiful, apart from all the other goodies that are at stake for them. And I'm sure the girls too, they, they just want the platform to impact. It's, it's, a lot it's of very, very important. Say, and I mean, a lot the, of them uh, during the audition. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And even the past winners and past contestants would bear, bear that they, they have actually benefited after you know, coming onto the platform or GM, of GMB mm. in, the, in, the, in the past years. Are text lines are, are active now? Do we know what lines you're voting through? When is voting starting? Or all that will be announced yes, on so Sunday? Yes, so because it's the official launch, mm -hmm. we want to put all of that out on the day. Mm. So there's going to be the GMB app, uh, Google Play Store, the Apple App Store. People will have to vote for those platforms. And of course, you're going to send your comments virtually by Facebook. And also, we 
I mean, there's going to be weekly updates. Uh, look out for all the media general platforms from Connect FM to uh, Onia FM, mm -hmm. uh, Akuma Akuma. FM, and 3FM. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are going to be updates on all the platforms, pictures, weekly updates, diaries, uh, time with the queens, and all of that happening. So it's going to be uh, 13 weeks of uh, a total package that's coming from TV3. We can't time. wait for that, and I can't wait for Sunday to see the girls uh, from across 16 regions sure. and uh, all the excitement that mm. comes with it mm. and mm. all the goodies that comes with watching mm. people represent various regions and learning from them as well. That's thank right. you very much, Anako Jadu. Thank you so much. We'd like to say thank you to the sponsors. Go ahead. It's very, very important that uh, because of the work that they, they, the, the amount of money or support that they put behind the show, that's why Ghana's Most Beautiful has become what it is today mm -hmm. i mean but for them we would still be dealing with content but the, the commercial element and the, and the beauty mm -hmm. of it is all because of the sponsors so i'd like to say thank you to all the sponsors who are on uh gmb now um, and all those who are yet to come we still uh, have room for you to come and be part of this wonderful uh episode a wonderful season of gmb 2020 coming ahead all right, so we are waiting for all the goodies once mm. again. Thank mm. you very much. Nana Kujadu is head of entertainment and lifestyle here at TV3 or Media General, and he's been speaking to us about this year's Ghana's Most Beautiful.